Hello, YouTube. Thanks for dropping by to the channel as well. Uh, we're back with some more Wayfinder. Just gonna get this thing off my menu. All right, and what are we what are we doing? I've not actually been on here since yesterday. I actually missed an earlier stream this morning because today has been hectic. But uh, I don't know how chat's doing. So uh, we were trying to get to here. Yes. Alright, so we've just got side quests, and then this is our main quest. Or repeatable side quests. So, not really relevant ones, so on to the main quest! Ah, good. I'm eager to get you up to speed. I've spent every waking hour since your discovery in Aurelian poring over these wondrous findings of yours. And, well, I finally cracked it! These resins, you see. They look to be made of little more than ethereal dust at a glance, but they are brimming with chaos energies. So much so, in fact, that their arcanic signature is quite unique in our world. I believe we could harness this power. Yes, much like an imbuement, really. Is it truly so strange to consider? Our goal is to find and destroy the crux of this unraveling. Whatever it may be, we know it began somewhere within Aurelian. We can therefore deduce this abominable thing exists somewhere deep within the gloom. Likely a, a layer of its own making. Creating an imbuement from its very own residue should allow you to enter the layer we seek. And if your track record is to be believed, save us all. With any luck, Destroying whatever Crux is holding the Unraveling Plague together should reverse some of the damage. It'll also give me more data to study the phenomenon. But I've held you for long enough. Go, fashion the imbuement into the gloom. End the Unraveling. Have I mentioned you remind me of an old companion of mine? He kept me company in my laboratory. Oh, Ainsley. Furballs or not, you are surely missed. I am not a cat. I don't think I look anything like a cat, but okay. <coughs> the unraveled gloom trace. That's I assume moment. the moment you forged it, I could feel it in the air. Like palpable dread. Finish this quickly, my friend. I assume this is a boss fight. Not previously familiar with it, I don't think it was in the game before. Presumably we'll unlock Deepwood soon. Which is why I have a bunch of jobs to go there, despite not having it unlocked. Take a run through the highlands, see if I can get another meteor. Try and upgrade that echo. I can tell your watchers don't ever fight the syndicate scum lady, so.
Hey, while we're cruising along here, I saw one of the devs responded to my question about damage shields, so let's have a look at that. I think. Under the hood, the player's stats are multiplied by 10 times before being shown to the player in the damage calculation uses those base values. If you have 10k magic depth, that would be 3k shield. Same for reactivity damage. So the stats are a lie. That's weird. And strange. So yeah, magic defense is, where is it? Theoretically is giving me 3,000 something damage shields after using my ultimate. And then a thousand every time I pick up an iteration orb. It should be dealing 2,500 if I get hit with the damage shield. I'm at the wrong one. Um... I need to unlock that ability to make the innervation orbs. Before I can readily test that. I'm actually not even sure how I make innervation orbs normally. Just defeating enemies. I have a damage shield now. Did briefly. Yeah, I just got hit by that thing and it didn't do any damage to them. Yeah, that did 66. I think I went on a limb and say that 2500 should not turn into 66 damage. Or well, they said times 10, so 250. And I think that just means the node's useless. As far as the reflective damage thing. Uh, 
Also, it does only appear to apply if the damage shield from the ultimate gets hit, which the node does not include in its description. Sciencing. Yeah, these little 57s and 49s are nothing. Can't an enemy who has like 10,000 hit points. See, I would say if you combo these two together. Get the, maybe get that, try and get that one too. I'd have to double check how the ability goes across the tree. If you combo these two together, you'll fairly reliably da generate damage shields because half your abilities will give you the 10%. This one though, it's... Only going to give me 300 of damage shield off of 10,000 investments. And then the damage reflection is basically nothing. It's not worth the prime node. Or the effort to get there. We got caravans heading out of the ruins here nearly every day. Okay. Starting. That was a wrap. You just a remix of the Aragon Commander? That third unblockable attack. attacks go through my block than he did. Also, I think a damage over time effect. And the most, most useful thing I've gotten from that perk is I can tell when I'm being taking small damage over time hits because I can see the damage bringing him in retaliations.
Yeah, right, it's this wonderful part of the fight. Shouldn't be allowed to stand there if the entire, if I can't, like, if it's gonna block off so I can't actually hit him. Oh, wow. I couldn't attack him because the middle of the room was covered in the red for most of that. That's actually just a cheap garbage tactic. Might have to just save the ultimate and everything until he does that. Through that time, they didn't cover the part he was in anyway, so it didn't matter. It's like, for forced errors. I don't like forced errors. When the game gives you no choice but to basically eat the punishment. Uh, Echo I just picked up. What does it do? Let's go back to name. Ok. 
combo finish is an equal shot equal to physical damage. That's literally the same as Creed's, isn't it? One hundred twenty-five percent of your weapon power. I guess you can equip both of them. Weird. It's almost a copy base fight, except he does different damage types that can't be blocked effectively. First strike I ever saw in action was a fox. The rest of them shot half as well as she did. We'd be in much worse shape. Okay, return to Omen. Reports from our arcanists in the field suggest some of the unraveling effects have begun to subside. It seems as if we've cut the head off the snake. And yet, the body continues to writhe. Much of Aurelian remains afflicted. While we are no longer on the defensive, our work is far from done. That sliver he dropped is intriguing as well. I am not sure its purpose yet, but I feel like it is important. The gloom dagger seeps with traces of the shadow as the dreaded visage of the first square projects. Yes. Do clean up all those umbrals for me. I've just made a promising breakthrough in my research, and it'd be a nuisance to have them mucking about the repository. You... this can't... Near the unraveling lost zones, I could understand. But for you to extend your influence so close to the beacon... You foul... Did you even care to preserve the Lost Zones? Or was all of this a ruse? Another attempt to escape? Everything is a means to escape. But no. I did not wish for the end of our reality any more than you. I merely seized an opportunity. I do hope you celebrate your victory well. I shall certainly celebrate my own. I fear we've made a grave mistake. The unraveling needed to be stopped, yes, but whatever she accomplished while we were distracted may prove an even worse threat. It's possible she utilized the loose threads in the Gloom's tapestry to widen the bars of her cage forcibly. In which case, it's good we stabilized Aurelian as soon as we did. Apologies. I need to think on this all. The unraveling? The umbrals? I'm beginning to think something is commanding them and that it's growing more aggressive. There is a silver lining, though. Lord Halar and I believe we found something of note in the first's research. When you're ready, I know our next steps. Lord Halar and I are studying the first's research. She uses three different systems of encryption and combined with the arcane principles involved, it's challenging. <coughs> but we've had a breakthrough. They have a weird switch in the voice acting there. Oh no, she's gonna kill us all. Da, 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 da. Oh yes, the meme Lord Halar. <laughs> the beacon of Skylight is one of many. The Castellan Torch in my homeland, the Pyrolith in the maze. Each one a well, holding the pure celestial power of the architects. We've always known of the relationship between beacons and signal fires. The ley lines that run between them carry the light of the architects and stabilize our world. Ah, I remember in the Haskala forum, Lord Valiost, the fool, claimed that this web of light was meant to be a cage. <coughs> a cage! Well, I set the record straight and... Lord Halar, please. Your apologies. My mind does wander. 
The first scribe studied these webs of arcane power and found something we'd all overlooked. Something she calls a balefire. We thought they were just another form of signal fire. However, the first's research shows that balefires are conduits within the gloom, connecting the arcane webs of different beacons. Which means... An end to isolation. The cities that we've lost could be found. Friends that were separated could be reunited. Our beacon strengthened beyond measure. Thanks to the first, we have located a balefire within the gloom. The traces are faint, but you should be able to follow its thread through the gloom gate. Where will it lead? The path winds through chaos and shadow, and we cannot be sure of where it leads. But we believe that lighting this balefire will link our beacon to the region once known as the Frost March. Yes, yes, it's a dangerous task full of unknowns. But if we are correct, this is the first step to undoing the fall and reconnecting our broken world. Will you do this? You forgot to say Wayfinder. Anyways. They belong to the first scribe. What was he was the unraveling torch an artifact? See, I pay attention to the quest rewards. One hundred percent. Oh, that's a trophy. Okay. Into the room you go. Oh, you like can't intersect with the other lights? It's a little strange. Can't I put this on the ledge? Oops. Oh, the thing up on the walls doing it. I see. Stuff all stolen cool deck. No, this one's fine. Turn some of these extra solar imbuements into chaos imbuements. That's all the stuff I interact there. We'll pet the dog. And then we'll get on to our way. I think that one just does nothing specific. Also, we completed a job board thing that, in the midst of that, so I will go grab another one. I don't have Reaver Woods yet. I wish it would stop giving me the quests in the place I don't have. Uh,
But the colors are... There's a thing with the color bugging me. Um... values are the death of trying to build character designs. Uh, tch. I'd have to pull it up. There's like one of the art, art tutorial channels <laughs> recently covered this. Basically what was happening before, if you'd put a grayscale filter over Kairos, the colors would all look the same. Travel beyond the gloom gate. Hey, you didn't let me pick the destination you feel it the hope of our world is lost somewhere in these shadows it's all right I didn't want to farm anything uh, <laughs> anyways YouTube folks we're watching this in the fire up fire flown future we're gonna break the episode here Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out the other links on the channel too. Among them you'll find the Twitch one to watch the live versions. Uh, Twitch, thanks for anyone who's come in and hung out so far. You guys just hang out because this will just basically be a brief second of me standing still.